Companies all over the country are now allowing their staff to bring their dogs to work. And if you've ever wanted to try it out, well, Take Your Dog to Work Day is officially a week from today on June 21st. Kathleen Tobin is the special events and volunteer coordinator for the Roanoke Valley SPCA. And she's brought these little cuties with her to work today. Thank you so much for bringing these sweeties. <laughs> of course. So who Thank do we you. have here? So that is Sophia mm. and this right here is Gracie and they are actually SPCA alumni. So they have already been adopted. Yes. Um, but to take your dog to work, you do need an adopted dog. So definitely come this oh. week and adopt them before the 21st. <laughs> That's right. This one looks kind of scared. He's shaking. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh just, yeah. just give it some time. No, they so love it. <laughs> how can having pets in the workplace actually help? people. Yeah, so there's many benefits to having a pet in the workplace actually. So just by petting them um, actually produces hormones in the human body that makes you happier. I'm very happy so, right now. Yes, so absolutely. it really does help a lot um, with that as well as you can really you can encourage teamwork with animals. Um, everybody wants to work together when there's an animal involved. Um, so you definitely encourage teamwork and it even helps with kind of icebreakers for the office. If you get together, you can do icebreakers. Um, if there's a new employee, that kind of helps them to go up, talk to the person, um, meet the animal, really. So it gives you something to talk about. And even, I think, mentally or just with stress, with anxiety, with just mm -hmm. um, a more calm atmosphere, is that mm -hmm. something as well? I mean, wh gosh, you're not a scientist, <laughs> but there's something that goes off in the brain, I would think. Yeah, no, studies have definitely shown. I did some research on the studies, and there are many, many benefits to it um, mentally. So it, it allows you, if you're, if you're stressed out and you're constantly focused and working, it gives you that chance to get up from your desk, take the dog on a quick walk, bring them outside. Um, and then studies did show that once you sit back down, you actually are a lot more focused as well so it yeah. helps it create helps productivity absolutely so what are some ways that we can bring our pets to work with us safely what are some ways we can make it kind of homey for them mm -hmm. and keep them safe while they're with us yeah so to, um, always bring definitely a food and a water bowl mm -hmm. that way they can be comfortable that kind of thing um, bring some maybe even a couple of their toys yeah. that way they're not chewing on anything in the office if they're if they're a chewer um, so it's definitely worth making them feel like they're at home um, even a bed sometimes in our offices when we have the dogs in our offices mm -hmm. we do try to give them a home type of environment so That's very nice yeah. and how are you guys encouraging people to yeah. bring your dog to work yeah so um, if you want to talk to your supervisors around town um, in the past we have had donations made to our shelter um, from employees that have brought their their pets to work so it's kind of encouraged um, join the community and help out our shelter by bringing your pet. Last so. year you were with like a local bank, right? Mm -hmm. Can you explain what happened there and how maybe other companies could do that same thing? Yeah, so they worked um, all together. They got together, talked about it, and they decided, well, we're going to do this as an entire company, the whole company. If anybody wants to bring their pet, we would be happy to donate individually to our shelter. So each staff member that brought their pet did make a donation. So they got permission and all went through with it. So my squirmy definitely. little worm here. <laughs> Now these, yeah. you said, these are alumni, so they are not available mm -hmm. for adoption, yes. but you guys do have plenty of furry friends yes. that are available for adoption. If anybody mm -hmm. is looking for someone to tag along to work with them next week, they have time to come meet them. Mm -hmm. So tell them how they can get out to the SPCA this weekend and meet maybe their, their future little <laughs> office mate. Yeah, so we are located on 1340 Baldwin Avenue, and um, we are open every single day from noon until 6 o'clock and available for adoption. So come on in, check us out. There's always photos online as well. Check out our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We post to there. Yes, um, you do so guys. Always, always keep an eye out. There's always animals popping up. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kathleen. And thanks Thank for you. bringing these sweet friends.